Hey everyone, it's Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro and today I'm going to give you a real quick run through on how I processed this image the other day to make it look, um, let's see if I've got one here that's done, like this. Uh, and, and really the, the exercise in this is not to make the other picture look, um, you know, kind of like this. Some people actually like the way this one looks, but really it's to show that you can pull a lot of uh, dynamic range out of a single uh, single digital image and you can do it in Lightroom so let me show you real quickly how I would pull this back in now obviously you could take the exposure slider and you could really pull that up I mean if I pull that up to like you know four stops or whatever um, it's gonna lighten things up considerably but the problem is that uh, it's it's pulling everything up and I don't want that I just really want these dark areas here so to start off I'm gonna go with my fill light and drag that fill light slider to the right and you know what I'm just gonna let's go for broker I'm gonna take it all the way to 100 percent now I'm gonna adjust my uh, my exposure just a little bit here not too much but just a little bit alright that's better now I need to because I pulled that uh, that fill light slider up what happens is it, it really there's no contrast in here it's it's very flat looking so in order to get some of that contrast back I'm gonna do two things one is I'm gonna take my clarity slider and move it up a few notches there to about 60 percent right around there and that kind of does some of the mid-tone areas it gets it really nice up here in the rocks you can see that you know they look a lot better I'll pull it back down just so you can see so you can see that the rocks start to get a lot more of that contrast inside these these kind of mid-tone areas the rest of it I'm gonna actually just do by um, taking the contrast slider and moving it up not all the way because that's just too much contrast but I'm gonna move it up you know about 50 or so that's that's pretty good um, then I'm going to take my black slider and put it up just a little bit more and that really starts to that does two things it gives even more contrast and it actually increases the vibrance of the colors in fact it did so much that I'm gonna take my exposure up just a little bit because it's all a balance game now look at that now the only thing that I don't like that it did is it kind of really you lose some of the uh, the mountains back here. Oop, it popped up a little bit. Let me take it back. There we go. You lose some of the mountains, and the sky is really not as dark as it was, and I really kind of like that. So to fix that, I'm going to come over here to the Hue, Saturation, and Luminance panel. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight Luminance. I'm going to get my Targeted Adjustment tool here, my TAT, and I'm just going to click on this blue sky up here, and I'm going to drag down. And as you can see, it's just adjusting the luminance of that color value. Nothing else is getting adjusted. So that's kind of a really cool thing to do. If you want your saturation to be increased a little bit, you could actually click on saturation over here uh, in the panel, and then you could either drag down to decrease the saturation or drag up to increase it. Now, that's like crazy. Um, I may leave it just a hair more saturated than it was. So I'm going to leave it about plus 8 or 9, something like that. But you can see that that really is, um, you know, it pulls that sky and it makes it a little bit darker. Now, the other thing that we could do down here, let me hit done <clears throat> to get rid of the tat. And let me go ahead and zoom in. And I'm going to uh, come down here, this area down here on the mountains. Real quickly, I'm just going to go down here and get my adjustment brush. I'm going to go ahead and make my brush size a little bit smaller. And I'm going to paint some of those mountains back. Oop, I'm going to turn off that auto mask because that is trying to mask where those branches are and I really don't care about the branches so much I just want to get some of this in here because some of those branches they don't really have any detail in them anyway and you can see it's really dark in there where I'm painting right now but that's okay because I'm not gonna leave it that dark um, I'm just gonna do that so I have a good visual reference of where I'm painting back in Maybe just a little bit in here and then a little bit up in here and there we go. You can see that's kind of coming back in there. And then all I'm going to do is come back to this tool. And, and let me fix just a couple of areas that are really bugging me here. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to dial that back down to something that looks pretty decent, like uh, 50%. Okay, that's pretty good. And if I turn it off, um, you can see here's the effect before I painted those in and there's after. So it just sort of brought them back a little bit. All right, let's zoom back out. And there we go, that's it. That's how you kind of can increase that um, dynamic range in your image and really pull some detail out of your shadows. All right, that's it. My name is Jeff. I'm at PhotoWalk Pro and you have a great day.